This is the Legacy Atlas with Dr. Tamika Lett. So first and foremost, welcome. Um, I just want to welcome you all to this podcast and the opportunity to grow with me as I address topics relating to pursuing your purpose, tackling your dreams, and shaping your legacy. Those are some of the things that I think about now. Um, my 20s, it was all about just living and learning. And today it's about what else happens? What's next? What am I going to leave behind? So I want to share those journeys and have others share their journey with you as they shape their legacy and pursue their dreams and accomplish them. I created this podcast pretty much after spending time thinking about my own legacy and those that are around me. I have some very dope friends and family members who we can sit around, talk about our dreams, encourage each other, and just get to that next level with the support that a lot of people don't have. And I said, wouldn't it be awesome if we had an outlet to share the things that we had. So I came up with the Legacy Atlas, my brainchild for over a year. And it's just something that I really want to have the opportunity to share with individuals. So I thought about the world around me, where are we going? What are we leaving behind? Um, just everything and thinking about social injustices, how we are being a role model to young people and these new generations. And as an educator, it is uh, hard to see some of the ways and things that children are taught. And I feel like this is an opportunity to share about those journeys. Now, before we jump too far ahead, let's start at the beginning. What is Legacy Atlas? So I'll start with legacy. People define legacy with so many different definitions. There is, you know, what you leave behind. People think about the material things. People think about the words and the, the spirit of you that is left behind. And for me, it's kind of all of those things. So I think of legacy as a whole. I think about the finances, because that's going to shape the next generation. I think about the words, because those things either empower or break down the next generation. I think about your mission, your purpose, and how that can be used to catapult the next generation, give them that building block to grasp what they need to grasp to get to their purpose. So that's how I feel about legacy. But here are some great quotes that I have posted and have them around and I read and I think about. And these relate to legacy. So by Peter Stropel, legacy is not leaving something for people. It's leaving something in people. So thinking about the things that you say, how you've empowered someone. And those are the things that people remember about you always. Oprah says, my legacy and your legacy will be every person's whose life was touched by your being here. So just you being here doing the things that you do, following your dreams, is a legacy. 
Max Lucado. You want to outlive your life. And that's pretty deep. So you're gone. And what do people think about you? Is it, oh, she was such a sweet person. Oh, I'm going to miss her. He accomplished so much. What is outliving you when you're gone? Um, so my favorite one by far, Benjamin Franklin. If you not be forgotten, as soon as you are dead, either write something worth reading or do something worth writing. So when I educate, when I teach and empower my students, that's one of the things that I talk about. So I want them to take what they learn from my classes and go out and do great things in whatever they do, how they do it, where they do it, why they do it, just everything. I want them to be empowered. So make an impact, take chances. I encourage them just to, to find their purpose, to take some time to look into themselves, to see what it is that they want to do and the purpose. Because you don't want to just pursue a degree that comes with, for some, a lot of financial burden and not use it. So I want to empower them to use this to not only take care of that debt, <laughs> but to find your purpose and to go out and impact the lives of others. So in short, legacy is what you make it. It's however you want to be perceived after you're gone. Do you want your life to outlive you? Do you want to touch those around you, be impactful, make some changes, stand up for the rights of others that are disenfranchised. Whatever you want to do, that's perfectly fine. It's shaping your legacy. So then we get to the Atlas. So what made me think about the Atlas is when you are shaping your legacy, many people look at your legacy and think, oh, what exact steps did you do to get this? I get asked that a lot. So you travel a lot. So what exactly do you have to do? How can I do that and travel? And then I tell them all the time, it's no set way in stone. Everybody goes about it a different direction. And that's what an atlas is. It's a map. It is a uh, understanding this is showing you how to get to destinations, but there are so many paths that you can take. It's not one right way. Some people's journeys are longer than their others. Some are shorter. Some figure out creative ways. Some are more adventurous. It doesn't matter as long as you get there, as long as you get to understanding your purpose and deciding on what you want. So a lot of the things that I have gone through and I have done, a lot of the things that I've said, I wouldn't ever do. Um, I, When I started working my bachelor's degree, I said I would never get my PhD. And I have my PhD. I don't like not a big talker in front of people. And I'm an educator and I present at conferences and I am a speaker at events. And it's just a lot of things that I wouldn't do, but I was taken in a direction to do these things. And I'm grateful for the journey, for the encouragement of families and friends and coworkers, the support, my faith. And there's so many things that have shaped my journey and that's what I want to share. So this podcast is going to be fun, lighthearted, encouraging, and all.